Now let's see if you can say a sentence using the correct form of the word without previously having written the answer down. In the following exercise, you will see a sentence with a blank and two words to choose from. Read the sentence out loud and insert the correct word in the blank. Then listen to check your response. Are you ready? Sentence one. Read the sentence out loud and insert the correct word, interested or interesting, in the blank. Now listen to the correct answer. The election interests me. It's an interesting election. Sentence two. Use the correct word, surprised or surprising. Read the sentence out loud. Now check your answer. The news surprised me. I was surprised by the news. Sentence three. Use the correct word in the blank. Excited or exciting. Now check your answer. An idea excites me. I am excited by the idea. Sentence four. Use the correct word in the blank. Bored or boring. Now check your answer. The lecture bores me. I feel bored. Sentence five, bored or boring? Check your answer. The television program bores me. It's a boring program. Sentence six, surprised or surprising? Now check your answer. The news surprised me. It's surprising news. Sentence seven, confused or confusing. Now check your answer. The problem confuses me. It's a confusing problem. Sentence eight, interested or interesting. Now check your answer. Politics interests me. I am interested in politics. Sentence nine. Confused or confusing. Now check your answer. Your story confuses me. I am confused. And finally, sentence 10, excited or exciting? Now check your answer. An idea excites me. It's an exciting idea. How did you do? If you did well, that's great. If you need more practice, check on eCampus and I've placed some links uh, to some websites where you can practice using ED and ING some more. Remember, we're practicing speaking, so even if you do an exercise and it's written, take some time to read the answers out loud once you have them correct. We want to reinforce the link between passive and active voice and the ED and ING forms of these participles.